Well, it's the end of the day. Um, it's been a been a good day, a funny day. Um, had a good swim and run, and then we went um, into town to get some lunch and look for some DVDs because in the evenings there's just nothing to do here, and I need something to take my mind off things. So uh, it turned out to be quite an adventure because um, the roads over here are just unbelievable. Sometimes you come to a junction and there's about six different roads that meet but there's no traffic lights or anything and it's just like guesswork of when you should go so that was quite funny trying to um, handle them and then we get into this to this town Sepio or something called it says Sepio and we're starving because we go literally straight off the run and we need something to eat and by this stage we're looking for something to eat we could find one and I said oh that looks clean that looks good so we went to this place and it was a fish place and I wish we'd taken the video camera because it was hilarious we went and it was obviously a traditional Korean restaurant so we had to sit on the floor and uh, they then brought out us all this raw fish, like from scallops to marinated crabs to um, sea urchins, whatever, different kinds of seaweed. And they brought some pork out, which was quite nice. And then a bit of rice. And then um, peas, they were nice peas in there, like, you know, when you have to get the pea out of the its cover. That was pretty cool. Some coleslaw, raw veg that you've never even heard of or tasted and it came out in some spices as well and uh, obviously you know it was a Korean experience so we wanted to try it all so we did and some of it was absolutely disgusting and you know you had to swallow it and for me like I spent the rest of the day and because it tastes so foul I swallowed it quickly to get it down and it got you know it felt like it was stuck in my esophagus so every time I burped it would hurt and then you just burp like scallop or burp octopus or whatever it was that they, they gave us but it was hilarious because Stephen didn't really enjoy it either and uh, he'd been teasing saying it's my McDonald's, it's my McDonald's and we went to the complete opposite on this this Korean restaurant and it was just uh, I think it was good for protein, it was good for protein and I swear I didn't put any weight on because it was all just raw fresh stuff and even like we had to make our own sushi so we thought this would be quite good, the last dish brought out was like fresh fish cut up on this stone platter raw obviously and uh, they explained to us that you should make your own sushi. So they gave you this leaf, your fish, and then you could add sauces to it. So that was quite a good idea. And anyway, this one lettuce leaf, well, I don't know if it was lettuce, it can't have been, but it was just, oh God, it burnt back your throat, it was disgusting. So um, yeah, we had lunch out in town, which was just just interesting and so funny. And then we went to this place that was called the uh, Shopping Arcade, because we thought that's, you know, Shopping Arcade, that's where the uh, shopping centre would be. So we went down this place and basically it was just this arcade full of um, fresh fruit, fresh veg, which was, you know, which was all right sort of thing. And then it was just full of um, seaweed, people selling seaweed or people just selling different kind of grasses it looked like. I don't know what it was. And then you went down the fish aisle and there was fish swimming in tanks or um, massive sea urchins or massive oysters and mussels. And some of the smell from that just made you reach again after what we eat because you kept thinking oh we must have ate stuff like that it just made you rich the smell was disgusting but they had this massive piece of fish that they just skinned there and then in front of you or you could get um uh baked fish that was just like been that looked like it'd been there for like days it was it was it was brilliant and that's obviously their lifestyle but to me i was just like thinking my god if i ate that I'm not going to be sick the next day, you know, whatever, you know, that was a worry about that. So that was really funny, that was really good. So eventually we left there and decided we needed something, something uh, Western, so we went for a, went for a nice uh, sort of like Starbucks coffee in this shop. We know it's not obviously Starbucks, but it's in, you know, that sort of style. So we went for this really nice caramel macchiato. Then went to the supermarket that we went to the other day and we found some DVDs. So we're not going to watch them tonight, but we'll be able to watch a DVD tomorrow night, so that was quite funny. But we went all the way looking and we found them in the basic supermarket, so that was quite funny. Um, and then we came back here, and um, I had an easy bike ride to do, so Stephen and Fran said, oh, we'll all go together, that'd be cool, I just want to run for half an hour first, and then we'll go, and we said, yeah, sweet, we'll wait for you. So we went on this bike ride, and I wanted to go flat. Now, the trouble with this place over here is there's no flat. Wherever you go, you have to go up or down. So we decided to go up first, and that means we could come back down. So we went up, and then we were going to go along this flat road, or the flattish, one of the flattish roads, so it's a, it's a main road. So we went along it, and then... Steve Pro goes, oh, let's go right to look at this because it's called Lake Hills Golf Course. There could be a lake up here, so let's go right. So we climbed up to the golf course. Then we found this road, I don't know if it's meant to be a road, but it was um, 
just an old road, really thin sort of thing, and it was just like down, up, down, up, down, up. Stephen got bitten by a leech, like when we came back here, he had a leech on his stomach, and it was still on his stomach, sucking. So that's how like remote it was, and yeah, how yucky it was. We came out the other end, and found goes, I know where I am now, I know where I am, you know. So we turn left and go and look at this national park, but you have to pay to go through it. We thought we'd just cycle around it, we have to pay, so none of us had any money. So then someone goes, oh, if we keep going up, you get up to the highest point, but don't panic because it doesn't get very steep. So I'm thinking, okay, okay, it's going to be my easy ride. So anyway, we go up, and uh, we go up, and we keep going up, and I'm thinking, if my coach is here, he said an easy spin. And I suppose it wasn't too bad, you could get on top of your gear, but at times you were grinding, and I was like, Oh my god. Anyway, we get up to the top and it is, it is beautiful up there and there's a restaurant which we said we must come back to and then from that point you can go off and do different runs up to the, the top of the, vol to the volcanoes or whatever they are. So that was quite cool. So we get to the top and then obviously on the way down we just go straight down. So it took us like over an hour to get up and under half an hour to get down. And me being me, because the weather's not been great and raining, I got down here and I was freezing cold because obviously you're coming down and some moisture in the air and the wind chill. And by the time I got down here... I was freezing and I turned into the end of the road, Stephen looked at me and I looked at Stephen and just burst out laughing because we are just like thinking that really wasn't an easy ride but hey, we learnt the lesson but I think if, in future if I'm going to do recovery easy rides I'm just going to have to go on the turbo because it's really hard to find any flat riding around here which is great for strength and it's fine for now but uh, you know come 10 days or a week out from the Olympics that's just going to be no good for me. So it was a very funny and interesting day and then Stephen Fowles just been around for dinner where we had steak, sweet corn salad and potatoes which was very very nice and then this is how sad we are, Stephen and I have just sat and watched all our footage that we're doing now <laughs> on the video and we loved it, we were in hysterics watching it, I don't know if anyone else will be but we loved it. So we have just sat here now watching us on the TV. Since uh, since leaving France, basically since Austria, we've watched everything in the last week and um, yeah, it's been brilliant, we've loved it, it's been really cool, so uh, hopefully you'll get as much fun out of it as what we did, but it's been really, really awesome. But um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read for a little while now, um, it's five to nine, last night we went to bed at eight o'clock and that was too early because we were, you know, sort of woke up too early and we were restless, sort of about four or five-ish and then when obviously it was time to get up, we wanted to get to sleep, so we managed to stay up to five to nine tonight. We may make it to half past nine, which would be quite quite good for us. But um but yeah, that's no, been good. It's still really hot and sticky. Um yeah, but we're not sleeping with the fan on tonight because that makes too much noise. So we'll just uh, sweat it out really. But it's been a good day training and a Korean experience today, which was interesting to say the least.